and we've been under attack the last couple of months. Ever since the mayor decided to run for governor and hired as the chief of staff a Republican appointee who's heading the move against our communities, we've seen a huge change. We've seen young men of color stopped continuously through the neighborhood. We've seen a lot of families that I work with personally that I've talked to who've been raided. Their homes have been raided. Ten-year-old children have been put into handcuffs. For what reason? ¿Para qué razón? Para darnos miedo, to give us fear. And it's unacceptable that immigration has become a political football and that individuals want to make a political career attacking communities. And what I ask of the press in the most humble way is to not be complicit. To let tell those stories of young people, tell the stories of people who are being arrested, who are being raided, nada que ver, nothing to do with anything, who are at the wrong place at the wrong time. I'm asking you to challenge our mayor. I'm asking you to challenge the Chronicle, who's written over 28 stories attacking 14-year-old boys. Don't you think we have bigger problems with the bailout on Wall Street? I do. So, antes que termino, una cosa más a los jóvenes, to young people. It is beautiful to see so many young people out here. It is horrible that this is the reason why we're out here. It's because we are under attack. And so what I ask of you is to don't stop. There are a lot of forces working against you. People don't want to go out until you graduate from high school. People don't want to give you opportunity. You have to fight every opportunity you get, and you're doing it here by being present, by being in front of one of the strongest forces against our community. And I want to keep on seeing you. And most importantly, you have to vote. You have to vote, you have to express yourselves because in this city of San Francisco, we are under attack. And I have to call out our, our brothers here sometime, well not, but the Police Officer Association has spent thousands of hundreds of thousands of dollars against individuals who are supporting the sanctuary city. That is a problem. We cannot allow the policing forces and the organizations that represent them to use funding to then attack candidates who are supporting our community. So what I ask of you is to educate yourselves, to vote, vote progressive. And that's all I have to say. Thank you.